What's up, everybody? I'm Dan Hamill, but I go by Green Skull normally on YouTube. I'm going by my real name because I want to talk about a pretty serious issue right now, and that's the new YouTube policy changes. So the big thing about these new changes is that there's two different types of channels now. There's an affiliate channel and a managed channel. And I don't know the specifics about all those other than that the managed gets to do a lot more. They can do what they want. You know, they're pretty much. That's that's the gist of it. They get a lot more leeway while affiliated channels are get scrutinized. They're under fire from claims a lot. So, I've gotten 5 6 claims now on Destiny and Halo videos. So, big YouTubers are being punished right now for using game footage, game audio, etc. We used to be in the golden age of YouTube. That was a thing. And it sucks to say that it was, because it's not anymore. That's coming to an end. Let's Players gaming YouTubers are really being hit because we now need to prove that we own 100% of the content, that we're allowed to monetize everything in the video. The unfortunate part is a lot of video games out there, there's no clause for that. There's no thing on their site that says that we're allowed to monetize videos. For instance, Microsoft, they say you can use their videos, but you're not allowed to use ads. Now before, that was the network's job. So I joined IGN, Polaris, etc. to have them have my back, to get the ability to make video game videos on YouTube. What's the point now? That's my question. That's the question on everybody's mind. These networks that used to protect us and give us these abilities, they don't do that anymore. They do different things. So it's a really dark time for gaming YouTubers. A lot of us are getting dinged. One of my videos that got hit was a Halo video. Real footage though, but it was a video for the Halo 4 launch here in Lethbridge. We worked with 343. This was pretty much made for them, but we used Halo 4 music. I even asked them about it, see if I could do that. I'm like, what music should I use? Like, make sure you use Halo 4, not Halo 3, whatever, because they have more rights on that kind of stuff. So I did, I used Halo 4 music, now that video is flagged. It has a claim on it from UMG or whoever the heck the music place is that has that. There's a claim on it, I can no longer earn revenue from it. The video can stay up. Now, people might not understand why that's such a big deal. Um, it's not like we're in it for the money. I'm not in it for the money. A lot of YouTubers are not in it for the money. But it's a totally different way of looking at things. When you reach this point, you know, I'm almost at 90,000 subscribers or something. When you get more successful, you need money. The amount of thousands, thousands and thousands of dollars I've spent on things from revenue. I've invested it back in camera, mic, computer, software. I spent $700 on video editing software. Software is not cheap. Things like Photoshop, everything like that is not cheap. Hardware is not cheap either. I'm not just buying this stuff for fun, I'm buying this stuff to make better videos for you guys on YouTube, for my audience. I'm investing back into it. Now, I spent years making videos, not earning a dime, and I was passionate about it and I loved doing it. But now that I'm earning some revenue, it's different. I spend that much extra time on it. I have more time. This is my full-time job. I have more time to work on stuff. RUL would not be the same as it is today if I didn't have that ability. It allows me to really push myself to invest in my videos. With all this new stuff coming out, it's going to be a lot harder to use video game footage, to do let's plays and the like. Some publishers, some developers are being cool. Valve is one of them, Mojang, and they're like, yeah, you can monetize our videos and such. But as soon as somebody doesn't play ball, say Activision or somebody, say EA says, no, we're not going to allow people to monetize content. Psh, drop. You're going to see a big, big drop in that game's footage on YouTube. It's going to be essentially gone for the most part. You still have some YouTubers doing it for fun and stuff, but the real big guys are just going to drop it. There's no point anymore. And that's really unfortunate that that's going to happen. And I think it will is the problem. I don't think it's going to get any better. The problem is this is a slippery slope. It's going to get worse and worse. So this is just the beginning, and this might not be too bad. It might be kind of blown out of proportion, and it's all going to be kind of all right in the next few months. 
but it doesn't change the fact that YouTube and Google are tightening their grip. It's going to get worse. I guarantee you this is the start. Everyone needs to start future proofing themselves for when we can't use because music for sure is out of the question now. Gaming music, I can't see that. That's the first one that's going to go. Again, like my Halo videos and stuff, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do much about that. So Halo music, any kind of game music, even though it's part of the game, it's still music. Can't use that. Cutscenes maybe will be next to go. Trailers are the big thing right now that are really getting knocked off. So what's next? What's going to happen next? Are we not going to be able to wear logos on our shirts? If I wear an American Eagle shirt in a video, are they going to strip the video from YouTube because I didn't, you know, they didn't let me do that? It's it's going. What about the shelf behind me? What about you know action figures and logos and is that going to get my videos pulled now it's insane and it's really really bad path they're going down on and I'm gonna stress it again that no matter how over exaggerated it might be now it's going to get worse that is the big problem here it's not what's happening now as much as what is going to continue to happen now I'm gonna keep doing what I do I don't want to stop I love this I love my job I love you guys I'm so happy every day thinking that you guys have backed me and will continue to back me and I'm very thankful for that but things are going to change. I might be doing more vlogs. That might be a thing. I don't know. Maybe. Um, that's, that's, that's the top of my list right now. I'm thinking of doing a lot more vlogging. That's uh, That makes sense. Um, as long as I don't wear logos on my shirts, I should wear a plain white t-shirt, but then Kanye West is going to come in and, and not let me finish because I'm wearing his white t-shirt. So I started a second channel called Badly Explained. If you guys didn't see those other Badly Explained videos, that took off pretty quick. I had no idea people would like my awful drawings and explanations so much, but I actually truly see a future in Badly Explained. Now I'm not leaving RUL. This is actually going to be a part of RUL. It's going to be a part of the network and that's all going to come into fruition in the future. But for now, I'm making the channel. It's up there. I have the first video up. I'm going to re-upload the other videos and then start doing new ones. And I'm really excited for where it's going to go. And I made it ironically was the thing. I made it almost as a joke and it's really relevant now because it's all, you know, if I can't use anything, what can I use? Really crappy drawings? Yeah, I can do that. I can use that. And I made that almost as a joke, but people liked it so much. And when I hear real life friends saying how much they like something, that, that means something to me. That's that's crazy. Like I'm used to, you know, having internet people say they like something, but one of, one of my actual friends comes up to me and says, I laughed so hard at your video. That really hits me. That's when I know I'm onto something. So I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys could head on over to youtube.com slash badly explained and subscribe. I love your support guys. And I hope you guys stick with me moving forward. Thanks for continuing to stick with me. Um, every one of you is awesome. I really appreciate it. And I can't stress it enough. I never want you guys to get the wrong impression for me that I'm in it for the money or I'm doing it for some stupid reason like that. But I genuinely love this. I'm really passionate about it and this is all I can do. So hopefully everything works itself out and gaming isn't totally stripped from YouTube. I don't know. We'll see. But it's, it's, it's not looking good right now. But who knows?